I am. This is Vom, and I just want to give you a, a video to help you with your test today on um, slope intercept and point slope forms and mostly on parallel and perpendicular lines. I thought I'd throw in some of the tricky questions that I think might um, that trick people up a little bit. So let's get started. First, um, I know that you already know um, perpendicular lines have uh, opposite reciprocals for the slopes, but I thought I'd just kind of go over some common kind of tricky ones. Here's the first one. If, um, so what I'm going to do is show you the original equation and then what the slope is of a perpendicular line. So for the first equation, um, the slope is, is that the invisible coefficient is 1. So that's a tricky one. The opposite reciprocal of 1 is actually negative 1. All right? Uh, that's because 1, so 1 is really 1 over 1, and the opposite of that is negative 1 over 1. Okay, next one is one half is the slope here, and the opposite reciprocal of that, of course, is negative two. I know you know that one. Um, this third one, y equals negative x. The original slope is actually it's an invisible negative one right here. So the opposite reciprocal of that one is positive one. This one's really tricky. Y equals ten y equals 10, or any, anything that's y equals a, a number, a constant, is a horizontal line, you know, with the slope of 0. And that's tricky because you have to remember that the slope is um, going to be undefined because the slope of a horizontal line is 0, and it's going to be perpendicular to a completely vertical line, which has a slope of undefined. Um, so that one might be a trick question they could possibly have. And this one here, the slope is negative 7. So a line that's perpendicular would have a slope of positive 1 7. Okay. So I thought I'd throw in some tricky ones for you. Next uh, possible question could be something like this. Write the equation of a line perpendicular to this and go through a, a certain specified point. So all you really need from this equation is just this little piece of information right here, the slope. If you're going to write an equation of a line that's perpendicular to it, of course, it's going to start out with y equals 2x. Uh, oh, negative 2x. Ooh, you probably almost messed that one up. All right, and then b. We don't know what b is. So what you can do is um, simply, since it goes through 4 comma 1, where x equals 4 and y equals 1, all you have to really do is substitute the 1 in for the y, okay, and that's going to go right here, and then you're going to, instead of putting an x, substitute the 4, and then solve for b. So it's going to be 1 equals negative 8 plus b, or I'm going to go ahead and add 8 to both sides to figure out what b is, 9 equals b. So all you really need to do is just rewrite this first equation with a 9. So the equation in slope-intercept form would be y equals negative 2x plus 9. And then I know you like to use point-slope form, and so if it doesn't stay, this just says write the equation of, meaning you could write it in point-slope form if you wanted. So you could just do this. This would be really easy. Uh, y minus this y value, 1, equals, and you know that the slope, if the original slope was 1 half, the perpendicular line would have a slope of negative 2, and then uh, x, and then it's going to be minus 4. Pretty cool. I'm going to see if I have any more to go over with you. Oh, yeah. This is a classic question. Are these parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So let's kind of go through these. I've tried to give you some tricky ones. Um, in this first set, your slope is, um, sometimes a half is expressed as 0.5, so you know that you got slope of 1 half. The opposite reciprocal of 1 half would be negative 2. So um, these, even though one's positive and one's negative, they're not reciprocals. So they're actually neither. On the second one, the slope of the first one is 1 and the slope of the second one is negative 1, and they are actually perpendicular. I'm going to, instead of writing out the word perpendicular, I'll use the perpendicular symbol that you should be familiar with right there. 
it looks like an upside down T. Set number three, um, we'd have to, to find the slope, you're gonna have to put the slope intercept form. And um, you know, I think my kids like to just say you're gonna move the 2x to the right hand side, or you're gonna subtract 2x from both sides. That would make that y equals negative 2x plus 8. And therefore, the slope is negative 2. And the slope in the other one is 1 half. And negative 2 and 1 half are opposite reciprocal. So that would be also perpendicular. And then this last one I kind of threw in to trick you. Um, you can't really determine the slope in the second equation unless you divide everything by 2. To is that way you're going to isolate your y value. So if we divide everything by 2, or you can just draw, I think you like to do this. Just draw one, oops, that was a 10 there. I'll put that zero back. I think you like to do this. Draw one line and put a two there. So it would end up being y equals 5x minus, well, 3.5. The y, the y intercept doesn't really matter. What matters is you got a five here and you got a five here. So they are going to be parallel. There you go. And that's just my review today. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.